Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with nope. I assume my Lieutenant Rakir at your service and what what are you doing? What oh right, yeah. I need this. Thank you. <laughs> and welcome back to Dave the Diver for our now. tenth stream. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
10 stream. I, I honestly expected we'd be done with this game after like four streams. But again, I'm not going to complain at all. And okay, we've got yeah. crops grown. Actually, I think, didn't they do? Before we were to stream, didn't they do an investigation on Lone Wars? And now we suddenly feel like we've been misinformed? I don't think it was that. Uh, we, we didn't look at how long this game was supposed to be, I believe, until after we started with it. Which I probably should do with any future uh, side, you know, side streams. Okay. Side streams? Yeah, so, side streams, blip. There we go. Uh, okay, you'll sell us... Okay. Uh, I don't see why we would need a, another... A better watering can. Let's see. Expand rice paddy. Okay. To a size of 4x4. Four four. Wheat seed, carrot seed, eggplant seed. These are all still growing. And. Okay, they're all watered already. Okay, I'm forgetting exactly where we left off. So I'm guessing we. Uh, yeah, we ended the dive, I believe. And then we straight up left. Okay. Why would that need to be expanded to a 4x4? It's already more than that. So. Yeah, we can afford that, so might as well. That way we can get more... <clears throat> that way we can get more rice, which, which, with which we can... Uh, be... Let's expand the rice paddy. Isn't it already? Uh, or it is was it... 3 by 3 yeah, It's over... I'm not fully getting this, but let's see. Let's see. All right, I'll slightly expand the rice paddy after the next harvest. Well, the rice, it's already been harvested, but... Oh, I... Hmm, no. Uh, okay, I'm not fully getting it. And hello to Pizza Lover. How are you doing? Doing pretty well here, I'd say. Hello, Pizza um... Lover. Do quite well. Um... Let's see, I'll grow the rice, just kill up the insects every now and then. Okay, so yeah, he's going to replant the rice himself. Hopefully, the expansion will be done before then. Hmm. Hmm. For now, let's go over here. We get the cats. Hello. Only once per day, so we've already fed. Okay. Uh, then the fish farm. Let's see. Pizza. I'm very, <laughs> very, very bored. I don't have anybody to watch. Well, you have us to watch now. Uh, oh, yeah. Nothing new here. So, to the boats. And let's see, what tasks do we have? <clears throat> let's see, anything on the phone? Yeah, to the abandoned cave. Come to the village elder's place when the day breaks. Okay, is... Okay, we can go there right now. Reopening the workshop. Hand over opals. Hmm? Wedding he song. has a cell phone? Uh, Tenzin, I don't think so. It's just that we have this noted on our own uh, phone. Let's see. Where's the fossils? We need an animal skull to deliver. Okay, I'm thinking this time we just... We start from the bottom and work to the top again. And if we get lucky, we can get the record room to spawn. And yeah, apparently until we got this, there were no mini games here at all. Ooh, pardon? Ew, that came up sudden. Oh, pizza a little bit of written or something. Let's see. Wait, isn't this Dave the Diver? Where did I see a farm? How much did I miss of this game? Yeah, there... <laughs> yeah, when you get far enough into the game, you unlock a fish farm and an actual farm. Where you can, well, grow and breed your own ingredients. <laughs> so yeah down we go probably should have looked with cobra for supplies but oh well okay uh, it's over here we should be able wait isn't this is the restaurant isn't it another do we have another quest let's see Dumplings in the water, Mama Mima's restaurant reopened. For some reason, it popped up in the corner of my monitor, not in the corner of the game. Okay. 
I wanted to tell you that I'm back in the restaurant business, but couldn't find your number. I, wait, do you have a phone? <laughs> the famous local dish of the uh, village, uh, Mima Seaweed Dumplings. The dumpling skin, yeah, skin is tough enough to maintain its form even in the water. You should try some. How am I supposed to eat it underwater? Uh, why don't you try one now? You'll just have to uh, hold your breath for a bit. <laughs> I will make you a special version. I, almost I, I'm, I am always down for the delicious food. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. These give buffs. Let's see. Increase the base damage of Harpoon Gun by 10%. I did not expect that she would get animations like that. <laughs> okay. Ah, the food effect disappears once you leave the water. Okay. Wow, it's really delicious. I feel like I'm energized. No, it's not just a, it, it's not just a feeling. It actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffing, so take your pick. Oh, the effect of this, the effect of a seaweed dumpling uh, dissipates when you leave the water. So visit me whenever you need the effect. See you around, Dave. Yeah, still 10, 20 hours in, but uh, 18 hours more in, and we're still unlocking new stuff. Let's see. Yeah, but this doesn't feel overwhelming. Yeah. Mima's dumplings can be ordered twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Dumplings give you a special effect that will last until you leave the water. See what that effect and see what that effect is in the pause screen. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing it here. Hmm. Yeah, that that'll be useful. And it's another reason to start off in the Sea People Village. Let's see, is there anything else here? There's the workshop that we need to go to. Is the seed shop still still closed? Since we have the farm now, we might be able to get more. No, still closed. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, there, there is a lot to this game, yeah, Pizza. But like I said, yeah, we just unlocked something new and we're already 18 hours into this game. So yeah, and, and like Nokia said, it's not it's not stacking on top of each other to complicate things. It's small little things along the way to help along. Or just completely si yeah, optional side right. stuff like the seahorse races. Yeah, very well paced, I would say. This out very nicely. Yeah. Okay. We, just, we need to kill some spider crabs, find some fossils. Okay, now, let's get this workshop working again and see if that gives us access to anything. Because I very much get the feeling that you can get us other upgrades. Well, well, you get out all the ingredients. I guess I have to thank you, human. It was really, it was nothing really. Are you feeling alright? Well, I should be able to prepare for work now. But... Divine tree fruit is needed to smelt minerals. The heat has dissipated because I left it uh, alone for too long. I will need to go to the divine tree and get some fruit. I'm still not feeling well enough to do it alone. <clears throat> I was hoping you could help me. No, you actually want? You're ask actually asking for help now? You're talking about that big tree at the back of the village, right? What do I need, what do I need to do? Trying to get my phone back into its standards. Let's see. Yeah. You're, you're going to help me? I'll guide you. Follow me. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Dua. Sure, Dua. Let's go and bring back the divine f tree fruit. Okay. Oh, oh up close, it's magnificent. If it wasn't for the Divine Tree, us sea people wouldn't have been able to survive. It was, it was thanks to King Long's sacrifice. We're forever grateful. 
Anyways, let's bring back the divine tree fruits. Do I need to go catch it? Pick the divine tree fruits and put it into this basket that I'm holding. My body isn't fully recovered yet, so I can't wait for too long. Bring me back five fruit in time. Hmm. Pick five divine tree fruits and pick them in the basket, right? Okay, little mini game. Okay, they keep some momentum. Sit still, you. Okay, you're going to make this complicated, huh? You want my help or not? Come on, sit still, you. Yeah, at least when he coughs, he sits still. One more. Like, I know you're recovering and all, but you could at least bloody wait for me to bring these over. <laughs> Great, this should be enough. It's time to go back to the workshop. Yeah, th that's going to be a mini game <laughs> to unlock later, I'm pretty sure. I guess I'm, yeah, I'm, guess I'm not well enough to travel. Anyway, thank you, human. Dave, right? I'll try opening up the workshop whenever you cover. Give me some time. Okay, Dua. I'll stop by sometimes, so please let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, he may be a bit of an ass, but he's not an asshole. Okay. Hmm. By the way... He just yeah. made us do... Uh, Dave and Duva almost sound the title of a show? Dave and Duva. That could be a show somewhere. It has an odd ring to it. Yep, another one. Let's see. I heard there's a small winged creature in the depths. The Cleone, I think it's called? We'd like to see one, or rather, C5. Okay. Here's your little sea angels. Okay, now, with this, we head up, and I'm guessing we'll get access to the Glacial Passage now? Time to talk with the big fish. <laughs> okay, pizza, so he's a uh, ass semi-hole. <laughs> Oh, you've returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people storage. Glacial passage key is in that place. All right, we need to get that key first. So one will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. So one, the best warrior of the sea people will guide you to the palace or to the place. Follow me. Now this one, this one is an asshole. No more glory hounds. So this is this going to be what I think it is? Okay, it's over here. Here, human. Go bring me the glacial passage key. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked away? I'm not sure. I heard story about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. Okay. But that was like a thousand years ago. See, people only live around 300 years, so don't worry. Okay. Hmm. I am nervous. Are you coming with me? I'm the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? If you're such a great warrior, you'd be able, you'd be willing and able to humble yourself and actually help your people through mundane things. I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's in, in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human. Why do I get the feeling we're going to see zombie sea people? Because they may live for only 300 years, but that doesn't mean they couldn't recreate. Only? only? Yeah, but <laughs> still. <laughs> there could be someone's grandkid in here. Oh, yeah, this... Ow, it's cold. 
The key must be deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Okay, the controller is shaking. Okay. What are these? Little glowy things? There. Hm, what a cute sea green. It must have come through that small crack. Uh, well, I... I called it! <laughs> Zombie sea people. Some sea people? The sea people? Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people swamp talked about? They are still alive? It's fortunate that they're still locked in the cells. Should not draw their attention. Oh, yeah. yay. <clears throat> Oh, before I forget, I learned something more about cookie cutter sharks. Oh? They take cookie slice bite of sharks, whales, and U-boat equipment. <laughs> okay. Didn't expect the yeah, last there's one. Many, there's many U-boats that had their scanners and such rumored that had got back to uh, harbor due to the damn things bit hole into it in shape of cookies okay. that's the name first off this can so shut close on us but the second things are so going to it, something is so mm. going to open the cells this must be the room Suwam talked about where, where the mural is mm. but where's the key this picture seems to imply something Okay. Oh, from pizza lover? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Second stone. Oop. Hopefully that'll be stable enough. Yep. Unless I tip it over, of course. There. Then I do the same very bloody thing. Okay. Up there. Oh, wait, oh, there's the other one. Uh, is, is, is it closer to the door? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'll read that bit that was. There. Okay, is it going to open up? That's going to open the cells, isn't it? Okay, that's that must be the key. Oh, the device. That must be the glacial passage key. What a creepy place. Better pick up the key and quickly leave. Okay, I was half expecting we'd have to carry it all the way out. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. <laughs> okay, the movie was not that great though. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty. <laughs> this came out before the latest. <laughs> this came out before the latest Indiana Jones game, <laughs> so though it could be mentioned, meaning the Crystal Skull. <laughs> uh, shall I return to the Sea People Village now? Uh, uh oh. Well, uh, the crazy fish are free. Oh no, another earthquake. I heard something crumbling. Uh oh. Also, I think it could be a reference to something else. Like, uh, Unshot. Did Unshot have a movie? Yep. Oop. Oh, oh, hello. Those actually give us cover? I, I'm, I'm guessing they... There's hardly any light here, so I'm guessing they are... They have a sort of... Mm, dark vision? So the light... Oh, pardon? The light from those plants is blinding. 
No, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Okay. Gadon is the name of ancient sea people who were mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Uh, yeah, we're dealing with mermaid, zombie mermaids. Yeah, I, I like how the cutscene showed us the tip on how to hide from them. Let's see. Yeah, That's and Azure and Connor, some is more like mutants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, what's with these statues? Hmm. I don't think I can pass here. What if I behi hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. Okay, that'll work. Hide behind the stone statue to avoid being seen by Gadon. Use the stone statue when you are in danger. Okay, so you're also a safe place to hide? He's peeking over the shoulder. Oh, hello again, Grisha boy! Hey there. You doing well? Oh. Yeah, and suddenly this game has turned into a horror game. Speaking of, I hope Evo Land doesn't pull apart where it turns into a horror game. <laughs> Though it has been going on down the list of genres so far, so maybe it will. Oh god. Oh, oh these move point, now. Uh doing good and you? No, I mean I'm doing good. I've been much better than I did before her. Okay. Uh, yeah, long story short, uh, these people were locked in here because they went mad and uh, started attacking people. And well now we're locked in the asylum with them, so to speak. But yeah, that them having got undergone some sort of mutation would explain why they started attacking people. So yeah, and while well, that mutation must have also granted them very extended life if they are still alive, unless they well started interbreeding, which when you're already when something is already mutated, uh, that's not going to be much good for the offspring if they didn't get devoured. Oh. Oh, well, that's dark. I should see <laughs> what uh, Peter Lover said. Let's see. After taking five days of constant trying, I defeated the final DLC boss, Dog Souls, on New Game Plus, which makes every enemy harder. Yeah, crap. I am... Uh -oh. Now I am remaining with the main final boss, Lot. Oh, wait. Now I'm re remaining with the main final boss, Lol. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Good You'll luck. probably need it. <laughs> okay, yeah, and of course, Suwam is gone. Bah, I knew Suwam was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key, now I must return to... Uh, you sure that... Uh, 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 hello? Now don't tell me it... It's Jackass McFuckboy again. Wait, you're robbing graves now, as if destroying the environment was not enough. Huh? That is the sea peoples. Be quiet. Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with sea blue. So that's the jackass who just rammed a sub through the sea, <laughs> through the very sea he claims to protect. And the wrath of I, John Watson. In my eco-friendly sea blue armor, RX-93 and its power. Uh, oh. Okay, at least that's going to keep them in. You are an environmental disaster, says the one with the high explosives. Again, you're gonna pay now. Uh. No amount of words can save that flick called moron. It looks, that suit looks pretty tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Okay, what do we do instead? Dump rocks on his ass? Or, in a classic little trick. Oh, 
The missiles are slowing down. Mm. If only I could direct it at him. <laughs> we say as it's already pointed straight at him. <laughs> Is there any uh, thing that can deflect the missiles? Oh, wait. Okay, so they will explode after a certain amount of time. Oh, oh wait, do we have to... Yes, I think we have to. Up, out. We have to knock the missiles back at him. And, oh, come it's on. We are already retreated. Might as well make a family tree that yep. looks like a ladder insane mutant to the I'm gonna misread something here. Give me that. Okay, he hits, hits really hard. Uh, I think we're... Okay, no, we're not. Okay, we have to outrun those things. Until there. And then knock them back to them. Or to him. Okay, and then he's just going to waste our time a bunch. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my Hyper Blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Okay, so we can lead them right into him. Just as they're still active. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I thought... Oh. I, I thought we would only get like 50... There. 50% air back from that uh, oyster, but it gave big pull, it seems. Okay. Best trick we have is to lead the thing back to him immediately. Ooh. Okay, just a quick one of these same mutants. Yeah, well, there's a, I'm trying to uh, get some misread, so it's, it's a little pixelated for me to read. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to. <laughs> Just as it was about to run out. Okay, that was three hits. I think another should do it, hopefully. And then we can send this wannabe uh, marine marine <laughs> back up to the surface. Oh, now I got glacier points, yo. Oh, good gods. Yep. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, now he's pissed. Also, the joke. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Again, why... You're littering the sea with my sea mines, dumbass. Also, the joke I was going with there was that he, his armor looks a bit like a space marine's, but since he's in the water, he's a marine marine. Or a maritime marine? You mean a deep sea marine? Also works. It App got caught up in that as well. Uh, I don't think there's any more oxygen for us to get, so... Now, it's surprised those don't hurt him. Come on, I'm guessing one more hit. Yeah, I should, I should probably start upgrading the oxygen tank again. Just in case we run into another unexpected yeah. boss fight. There we go. Yep. Yeah, you better run now. 
Uh, my eco-friendly sea blue armor are igniting in three years. I can't forgive you for <laughs> destroying nature. <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> she weren't even dressed in that. Okay, well, at least that's a shortcut. Was destroying it. Yeah. You were tenacious. He was wearing high tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He might find useful parts out of it. Okay. What are we going to get from this then, huh? I think then, that huh? you bring that in as evidence for... But I don't think... Like, yeah, we know they are known for being extremist, but this... This definitely should uh, give a lot of... Uh, uh, well, law enforcement more alert than before about them. True, but... All of this is rather out of the way, so I'm not even sure if the island has a police station or anything like that. Or probably has, but not in the capacity to go after, well, people who have the fun type of funny to make a fucking uh, space marine armor for undersea. Let's see. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacial pa uh, pass the glacial. A glacier passage key to Tenzin. Okay. Let me just cut over to that immediately. There we go. Oh, you actually you actually brought me the glacier passage key. Shuam told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up. But I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by, a nast by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gadons? Are they still alive? Gadons? Hmm. It is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one do you like to hear? Let's go with the long one for some lore. Yeah. Good. I'm going to tell you the story of the Gadons, okay? Yep. I'm, pretty sure, I'm guessing we got we were got it in a very summarized version if we asked the short version. About 800 years ago, the Gadons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. Wait, is this going to be a tale of Atlantis or something? It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that uh, could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However... Hmm. There were always those who were blinded by greed. Actually, I just hit upon an idea. Uh, uh, Human life, or humans have an ancestor far, far back in the evolutionary line, who was, uh, well, all life started in the sea and all that. I'm guessing the sea people are just a divergent evolution, but very, very, very early on, like millions of years, no, even more than millions of years back. Probably trillions of years back. <clears throat> then, yeah. Dashe, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. And I think we can see where the, that went and how that went wrong. He, he processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the autonomy of the sea people. Or the anatomy? Yeah. You modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dashe was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. There's those trilobite things. No trilobites! There's, there's <laughs> simply like, Let's see. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yawi. Mm. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? Mm. A 
the time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. Control room? Crazy bird. So we created GMOs. Uh, more like bioweapons, like Umbrella. <laughs> and no, we're not going to leave your key alone. We're going to bring it to Tenzin here. <laughs> he was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then one day... Does she try to take over or something? The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their bodies turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. But luckily enough, they're blocked away now that the wall has collapsed. Or for the moment. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. Yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'd be like trying to carry a bunch of feral cats away. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. That means maybe some of them may still be roaming the glacier passage. Really? And you were expecting me to go there? I beg you. The sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us uh, find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Okay, that's a quite a compliment. <laughs> Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. Oh. Here, take this sea people's necklace. Wear this and the two worms in the deep blue sea will... Okay, that'll be useful. That way we uh, don't need the UV light anymore. You know, those strange worms that look like sticks? That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suwam to guide you to the entrance of the glacier passes. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do you want to read the chat a little bit? Yeah. Glacier board. My key. I can open my door without it. Uh, well, so you can get out without it. <laughs> and yeah, the pizza lover. The music is nice. Oh That's yeah. Fun. Okay, you have anything to say for yourself? Tips on fighting the Gadons? Of course, it is only natural for you to seek a piece of advice from a great warrior and strategist like myself. Now listen carefully. The most important thing is... not to encounter them in the first place. That doesn't help. Minimizing the risk is the best tactic. You didn't know that? Uh. It's not wrong, but it doesn't help when you do encounter them. Yeah. Like, you do want a plan B. Like, why do I get the feeling he is considered the, the village's warrior because he's the only one who can do anything that's actually useful? <laughs> it's, there's something at the temple. <sighs> okay. Hmm. But now I'm kind of wondering... If the, Gadon, if the modified sea people are still alive now, could Dashe have modified himself and still be around now to cause trouble? <coughs> My goodness, human, this is the one. <coughs> Thanks to you, we'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Oh, oh right, I already gotten the tablets from the record room. There we go. Human, or rather, Dave, was it? I think if you participated, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. Um, see people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from a, a human wedding. <laughs> Is that so? 
You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. Yeah, it'd be rude to uh Good. Oops, so much for the wedding. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's not totally going to be seen as an omen. Oh no, another earthquake. King Long's arm. Well. Oh dear, King Long. This is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. We don't have the tools in this village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Is it an omen of impending disaster, perhaps? Hey now, calm down a bit. Maybe Cobra will have something? I'll try and see if there's any way we can use... Uh, any, if there's anything we can use on the surface. Just wait for a bit. Oh, Dave. Please bring back something. King Long, we need your protection. Okay, I... I did not expect that to happen. Okay. And something I just realized, since the uh, developers of this are in Korea, I'm wondering how much of this is actually leaning towards more Korean than Chinese style, with the music and decorations and such. But personally, I don't know much where the difference would lie. I will probably suspect the Korean, but I also know that, like, it is an awkward thing. Like, I know about the Korea as a country and all that, but when it comes to ancient history, I know more of China and Japan than Korea. Yeah, since they well, tend to be the bigger players, a bit literally. Yeah, hmm. I, I know I've seen some Korean movies that were good. But, hmm. Oh, miss. I think, yeah, I think it would be better, good if we saw more yeah. documentaries about that. Like, uh, that would look like a lot of documentaries about samurais and Chinese wars and such. Oh, but Korean? Right. Not many. But I just, I just used those as an example. Uh, that was not the controller I acting up. That was me being dumb. But yeah, basically, the other countries get more media attention. They're just bullying a fish. And I have tried to stop, uh, look up about Korean structures and such. Especially, I actually tried to uh, see how Korean, ancient Korean armor and weapons were. Okay. With some struggle. Let's have a little look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, everything except for the sea bream we can go catch. Let's see. But yeah, I, I really do not know much, if anything, about Korean history. Uh, the only thing I may maybe well, except for the whole North and South Korea stuff, of course. Um, I think there was. I think I'm. I'm forgetting now if a certain historical character, Admiral Yu. I, I think they they were Korean as well. Extra History did a a good long series about them. All right. Though, hmm, I'm not also, also be surprised if some history were lost with the whole conflict. Yeah. There we go. Let's see, so what I'm do we actually have? I'm surprised if some out, were outright burned or hidden by a certain someone. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of burnt, I saw a video recently, a long one, about uh, 
war crimes that happened in the Pacific Theater during World War II, and uh, let's just say that when the Imperial uh, Japanese Army started to destroy documents, that supposedly only a tenth of a percentage of the uh, documents that were des designed were lined up for destruction actually survived. So yeah. Uh, dear gods. Can we get anything useful out of this? Yeah, there's a lot of wonder in ancient history, but also a lot of horror. Oh, oh hello. Isn't that the seaweed collector Tsuchi and his pet Ladderack Sea Turtle? What was his name again? Uh, Donna. <laughs> really? Leonardo, Donatella, Raphael, Michelangelo. <laughs> I called it and I think it was Donna. I bloody called it. <laughs> That's right, it was Donna, wasn't it? The giant leatherback turtle of the sea, you know, of the deep sea. What a wonderful sight. Let's pick it and take a picture to commem commem like, commemorate. You know, Tsuchi of the sea people shouldn't be in the picture. I'll have to keep him out of the shots. Yeah, that, there would be some uh, odd questions asked if uh, he was in sight. Okay, optional goal, feeding time. So he's going to throw something. Okay, just a bit he's too early, I guess. It. Was he eating it by a pixel or something? I think he has to be chewing. Or he, she, I forget the specifics. Okay. And then we could zoom in or out. Mm. Wait, was there something else wrong with the previous picture or something? No, he or... was in it. Some, he claimed he was in the picture. Okay, the hitbox he must really have been wasn't. just... Let's see. Yep. Without two okay, is uh, wait. Uh, good enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully they be fixed out for that. That seemed a bit a bit wrong. We got most of it in the uh, picture at least. Even even English boy agrees. Yeah, but the hitbox for his uh, person probably was just about on the edge of the screen or something. Oh, oh hello. The really was in there, so hopefully something to be fi fixed out. For well, that, some looks like a bug or something. Yeah, the, hit, the hitbox for Tsushi is just a bit too uh, sensitive for that. Yeah. Yeah, could use a little bit of work. Okay. Nope, right. oh, oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have a bit of a test today as well to see if... Um, <clears throat> if me turning everything up besides the Bluetooth dongle... Uh, off will actually help with the connection issue or the slowdown issue with um, the controller and so far with the, the smaller hostile fish it hasn't had an effect or if there hasn't been any effects so no slowdown on that yet we'll see if there's any with the bigger fish like the sharks uh, yes people sharks or fish Oh god, she roused me. Someone used to know, and I... She was already adult by then. She thought sharks were mammals and whales were fish. Okay, the other way around. Yeah, I had to tell her, are you joking me? It, it's all the way around. And I had to look at her face and she was... She was generally thought what she said. 
So she was surprised when I told her, right? It's the other way around. Stay but she away, actually didn't believe gold is for fish. Uh oh. Okay, you want something to suck on? Suck on this. Ow. <laughs> okay. Um. Hell yeah, I think you just <laughs> had to eat your own words. Yeah. I just made a pun, okay. didn't I? Yep. Okay. Uh, Actually, I blame you and Glacier Boy and Pizza Lover. Okay, shooting him while he's doing that does not interrupt him. Yep. Uh, you two may want to help. Blame Helium. And what the heck? There we go. Now, call you in. Okay, yeah, we need to find some, uh, we need to find some oxygen. One shot left, so let's not waste it. Okay. Ah, there. Three, two, one. Nope. He did not waste the shot, all right? Mm. Well, let's see if we can find some spider crabs, deal with those on the way out. That is just an entire yes. loop. I'm kind of glad that spider crabs don't make web. Yeah. They, they, they don't make web, right? They don't. They just named that because they look like spa like spiders with the spindly legs and all that. Come here, you. Okay. We're close to the amount that we can carry. So... You wink. Hmm. Actually, we probably should have... Uh, we have a bunch of... Seahorses in our inventory. So we should probably go deliver those to the uh, arcade. Oh. So we can actually catch these damn things. Okay. Blood. Blood, belly, comb jellyfish. Yep. Charming name. Hmm. Oop. I'll take some of this. Uh, let's see. From Glacier Boy. Helian, that's gonna be a Helian out of context clip. You want something to suck on, then suck on this. Oh, you're free to have clipped it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Where did I get an oxygen capsule from? Okay. Let's see. I'm kind of hoping that we'll find. Oh, right. Hit this again. <laughs> it, it, it just makes. I mean, at a distance, it just makes it look like the. Like the. Do it. The box has a it has a top hat or something on. Yeah, uh, it does. Let's hope that we'll find an escape spot soon. Otherwise, we'll have to dump something else out. Wait, it, it looks like a mining cap. It's, um, yeah, let's take this instead of this bombs. Looks like we're not going to find any spider crabs, so oh uh, well. Pardon? Pardon? Yes. Wait, is that a well bone? That looks rather long. Hmm. Not sure. It seems that we are going to find the one spider crab to get rid of. Okay. 
catch. I'm so Okay, I have no interest in your remains, but I do have interest in these remains. Okay. Hmm. I'd have expected to have found an escape point at this point. Well, yeah. Uh, Can we go straight up here? Maybe. No. One. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of the scooter then. Since we do need this to actually get out of here. I think we might have missed a way out on the other side. So let's go take a look there first. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of lost underneath here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, I need to head off. Hope you all have a good time. Okay, see you next time. See you next time, Glacier Boy. Thank you for joining. And from Pizza Lover. OMG, I did it, you guys! You, 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 you did what? You finally hugged the shoe pill? <laughs> no, they, they beat the final boss, I'm guessing. Congrats! Well, let's see. I defeated the final boss of Dark Souls first try. Okay, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> and is this a way out? No, congrats. that's covered. Hmm. Where is the exit? Hmm. Because the other path would have just led us back down. Or maybe it's safer at this moment to try and go back down to the Sea People village instead. Because, yeah, there's no way up here. Hmm. What the heck? Oh, no, I'm to be gassy all of a sudden. Apparently. Okay, now we're going sure to get I that. Get to be burnt from drink my drink, but get the oxygen. I usually don't feel the belly. Oh, being so gassy. We, I could have just used that instead. Oh well. Uh, what's in here? Another oxygen tank? Yep. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> okay. No, I believe this should let us bypass the uh, two worms, or is this just... Actually, I think we just went back now on where we were before. Hmm. Yeah, let's head back to the Sea People Village. I think at this point that is going to be easier. Let's see, I have... Oh, there's something up there. There's okay. Oh, okay. We got an into new area. Uh, oh, that was just those things I was seeing. Okay. Well, there's an escape point here. Yeah, let's escape. Wait. Isn't this right next to the Sea People Village here? Let me take a quick look. If this is just right back to the village. Nope. Then we end here, or we ex go there. And yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Was that the escape point there earlier when we went out of here, or did we just completely miss it somehow? I... I... Oh. Pardon? Uh, I think it, it was there before. Okay. Probably just... Actually, no, there's already a quick way to exit in the village itself. Hmm. Oh, well. Before, ready before you enter the village. Let's put a bit of speed in it. Do the mirror. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm getting kind of used to it. Human, help me find a reason for the earthquakes. 
I'm already on that. Okay. Hmm. There's, there's not a real need to go on a night dive. Oh, oh speaking of night dive, night, di night dive studios recently released uh, another remaster for Quake uh, Two, and I've heard that the next one they're working on is Turok oh. Three. Let's see. All right. And apparently, they've also done remakes for or remasters of Turok One and Two. Those completely went underneath my radar. Let's see. Hmm? Stone adhesive for use on the water. Let's see. Oh, good. I, it was in the corner here. This should do. I should go back to the Sea People Village. I'll go back to the Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long statue. Tomorrow, though. For now... Just add all of these little racers to our inventory. And then tomorrow we're going to put them in the stables. And okay, not a new longest dive. And deepest as well, due to the abandoned cave bit. That's a big shark. Let's see. Got a lot of row. Oh. Also row for the blood belly comb jellyfish now. 15 mega mouth shark meats. Okay. Oh. Udo? Oh, you brought a picture of something, yeah. Wow, a leatherback turtle. Did you know that its back is actual leather? That's why it can't hide its head inside its own shell. How sad. Okay. I'll put you back to the good use. Okay. And we get an easy 200. Hmm. Rasby, I learned something about turtles recently. Uh, uh, hep. uh. Earthquake. Yeah, and someone's just casually going over to the restaurant. Whoa, strong earthquake all of a sudden? The earthquake is becoming more frequent and intense. I just go check if Bancho Sushi is alright. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Say before that happened, <laughs> okay. turtles cannot leave the shells. Yep, it's it's a bit of a joke in uh, media, but they can't actually get it. They're they're literally grow stuck to them. <laughs> so don't try to force them out of the shells, but that we kill them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pizza lover, I'm hoping for either a Super Mega Kraken or Cthulhu himself. <laughs> we'll see what's going on downstairs. Bancho, I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? I took some measures against earthquakes after it crumbled last time. But I'm not sure how, for how long it will withstand the series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Dr. Bacon! I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were alright. Well, it looks like everyone is okay. Dave, what about the sea people business? Is there any problem? Um, the heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice off the sea people village. And many sea people uh, got sick because of that. Yeah, there could be all sorts of bacteria and viruses in that ice. To identify the cause, I need to go down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate, but... There seem to be some eerie monsters down there, and I don't feel safe. Ah, huh, that sounds like trouble, Dave. According to the ancient records, sea people are very susceptible to temperature change. You should go down to the glacial area ASAP and find out what's, ha what's happening there. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself for the sea people if it, if it means getting frozen. Thanks, bacon. For putting my bacon out, out to pasture for this. Or, that, that didn't make any sense. Putting my bacon at risk. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Never mind. We can worry about that tomorrow. Today we feast and have a lucky, uh, fun lucky time. Okay, so... That face <laughs> they redeemed. I suspect that's the same face you will do. <laughs> Someone said that to you. And he's, ac he's actually going to just snack along. Okay. We have... We don't have enough flame for any new research. Let's see. How are we with taste? We have an e upcoming event, apparently. 
let's see. Can we... Okay, we can't expand that, improve that, because we don't have floral trouts. Hmm. Oh, right. You have to make... A yeah, we need for some vegan stuff. Yeah, the ingredients for that should be ready in time for that. So for now, let's see. Starry puffer, fish, sea graves and rice. Let's see. Actually, pull back a bit. Any of these particular high in taste doesn't look like it. Okay, let me have a look. Cookstra. Uh, let's see. For the next rank up, we need... Yeah, we need something really tasty. So we need to save up on something to upgrade it a lot. Or we need to come across a new recipe that's just really, really good. So for the moment... Hmm. First, let's move through this. Okay, Ooh. another back. New seahorse. Also known as the, sea, as the yellow seahorse. As you can see, black ones also exist. Okay, so these are... All, they come in black and red, uh, black and yellow. Blah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. For this one, we can serve some of these. Let's do. Actually, how much do we have in hands? Let's do that. how uh, Bouncer and Mima would react if they were to meet. Okay. I'm not sure if we are dare to guess. Let's put some of those on the menu. Um, I should probably try to save up and with the rice for the upgrading of that. That is, this is looking to be our best case scenario for a taste uh, map, for reaching 250 tastes. So I should avoid other things with rice in them. Let's see, sail fish. We need to save that for the event, I think. And then we have this. A big Eye Scad, Miso, and Sesame Seeds. We can upgrade you once. Uh, oh, and a... Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, uh, that uses rice. Saving you. Let's put some of you up for sale. Mm. There. Not enough of that. Let's see. We can do that. And then we put it's 15 okay 16 actually now let's see i think that should probably cover for the amount for anyone coming but let's do one more thing just in case some uh three puffer or three tooth puffer uh <clears throat> sushi so just put our entire supply of that up, and I think that will do. Okay, anything with our staff? We should also send out still. Uh, let's see, details. You are a very good cook. You are... Okay, this pass match master. Hmm. Let's do an internet ad with this. We will lose these two. But I kind of want to see if we can find someone who will do both the tea and the beer. Since, well, I very obviously suck at that. 
Okay. And then you lots, we go dispatch. Let's see, what do we have little of? We have little of soy sauce, vinegar, and turmeric. Okay. Co, you can go get that. Probably should have sent someone else as well. For black vinegar, we send James and Liu. And for turmeric, we send the last two. Okay. I just realized something. We only faced a Kraken. Yeah. I do suspect from what they seen uh, through the fish list here that one of the bosses are probably gonna be a Meg. Yeah, Megalodon. Yeah, it's... Megalodon and not Meg Griffin. <laughs> yeah, let's keep upgrading Raptor a bit since he is our best server. So Billy is... Oh, hello. Okay, so it's at level 7 that everyone get unlocks these cocktail serving. Okay, we haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, let's see, we have enough to train you to level 7. And what do you get then? Clean... Okay, clean up the messy seat. Okay, so he can take care of that instead. There's, there's a lot of extra and things that we can get with people. Tip master as well. Yeah, so he can get a lot of tips. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing one strategy that you could go for would be to have someone with tip master and really good serving, so they are just speedy as all hell, and then to have someone else who does uh, the green tea and the beer. Then if you just sit on the wasabi, then, well, the day is covered. A cocktail serving is for the beer? I'm, I don't, I'm thinking that's just something we need to unlock still. Okay. Hmm. Let's, see, let's upgrade you as well. And what do you get? Cooking plus plus, so you get even more cooking. <laughs> Okay. And we should make enough money to cover the day cost, so I'm I'm going to upgrade you to level 7 as well. And you unlock Master Drink Mace. Uh, ma yeah. Master Drink Maker. Okay. You can sell beverages at a higher price. Okay, is that a passive thing then? I'm, I'm guessing that's a, pa a passive thing. He's, he, it doesn't say that he, it doesn't say that he serves them because Raptor has the serving with this. Hmm. Okay, we should definitely keep an eye out for anyone who can serve beer and green tea among our new hires. So why is this still set as marked with new stuff, or is it because of this recruiting thing? Hold on, hold on. Where's the cat? Yeah, the cat vanishes at night, they say, or they leave at night, Bancho said. Yeah, but only, weren't we supposed to look for the cat? Hmm. Yeah, before we, before we do anything else, let's go look if they're at the, any of the farms. Don't do it. What do you think? Neat, right? Yeah, he's talking about this here. Let's it looks see. bigger. Yeah, it is bigger now. Okay, so the cat is not here. Are they out at the fish farm? I almost said fish field. Hmm. I very much doubt that the cat is on the water or at the boats. Hmm. So, I'm guessing what we'll have to just heck? find it out some other time. Hmm? What in the name of... What? So much fine fireworks! 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta check the calendar for. Now, of course, you want to get drunk. Yeah, it's. Mm, as far as I know, it's not the fireworks day. Okay, a lot of people want tea. Tea is good. Well, we can drink uh, herbal tea like that. There. Up. Get freaking drunk. Up that way. Over. You want it first. Good enough. Now why do so many people want a bloody beer today? Or is it because they can we can sell it better now? Bacon again. It's a lot of fire. What is going on? Yeah, I, I, I just do not get that stupid mini game. And okay, yeah, Billy is keeping the place clean. Okay, yeah, we got seven thousand now. Let's see. Okay, less expensive, er, less profit, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, increased pay. So we need to keep 1,200 on hand, or a minimum of 1,200 to keep the place running. Oh yeah, we're getting into bigger numbers now, and hello. Oh, yeah. The wind is always cool and nice at night. I'm sobering up now. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm? The radar of the sea people detected something. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's not from the water. Just how? Okay. Well, that can't be anything good. I'm receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally for... Wait... Worth an investigation? Did the Cardons find another way out? Oh, uh, we actually control Dr. Bacon. Okay. Well, time for him to risk his bacon. Oh, oh hello. What a surprise! A mural in a place like this? Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw in the sea. Let me examine it closely. This is, these are murals from the people who uh, who were in contact with the sea people. A picture of sea people and humans? Is this something that actually happened? And we can already see something over on this side here. Children of both humans and sea people. Are they hanging out together? Hmm, the sea people are giving some shining fruit to humans, perhaps? Okay, and we've got a locked door. There's a device of some sort here. And I think I've seen some of the letters on the murals. Okay. Let's see, we can already see one here. Cross like one with three legs. Hmm. There we go. And then we have. Okay. A triangle and that complicated one that looks a bit like a, a five. Okay, they stay like this. Okay. We just find the correct one with this. There. 
And now we just keep rolling until we get the correct one with this. Neither of those. That one's not. Nope. That one, I think. Yep. Bravo! The door is open. It looks dark and creepy, but a true archaeologist will never miss this kind of opportunity. Let's see what's inside. Hope you brought a flashlight. Uh oh. Uh, this place. Look at all these bones and torsion devices. I must first examine the mural in the back to find some clues. Uh, yeah, I think someone got greedy with the fruits that they were given, and they wanted more. It looks like the humans collapsed after eating the fruits. I don't think the fruit is edible. Oh, okay, no, uh, not greed, a misunderstanding. They thought the sea people were poisoning them. Humans hunted the sea people? It looks like a lot of them were killed. So that's, uh, that's what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people, uh, were, were it not for small misunderstandings. Let's first bring this artifact for further research. Let's see, what have we here? Sea people rebreather? It makes sea people... Uh, it seems sea people made it for humans. It's from the ancient times, but it's sophisticated. Wow, this... Looks like some kind of breathing apparatus. Maybe a sea people device made for humans? Uh, uh, hmm? What is the noise outside? Uh, it's the poachers. What? Who is that? Why is he here? Ah, pirates. What are they doing here? Raiding? Back to the boats. But that, were, that, that looked more like sea people speech, or was that Korean language or something? Uh, this is our turf. Give us whatever you have right now. They won't let us go so easily if we stop now. Let's get away. Let's, let's get way as far as we can. That small little errors. Uh, minigame? Yes, minigame. <laughs> okay. Escape the pirates. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Okay, that, it's a side scroll shooter, but we're the ones being shot at. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what that meant. Okay, let's not give them a bead on us. More rocks. Oh, now they're going to combine this, huh? Yep. No. And I, now they're just shooting wildly. Oh, <laughs> good one, Doc. Pirates overboard. <laughs> One of them can't swim, it seems. <sighs> Phew, I almost fainted. I must take the sea people breathing apparatus for further study. Okay. <laughs> Having his own little adventure on the side. Good thing that he sobered the hell up, because typically he, when he attends the restaurant, he leaves drunk as a skunk. <clears throat> Denzel told me to talk to Suwam at the village. I should check if there are any tasks for me, then head for the Sea People village. Okay, chapter 5. <laughs> Hello there, a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday. 
Ooh, a okay, a, a thousand isn't as much to us anymore with how much we can make in a night, but still, a nice. The discovery of warrior yeah. parrot fish has increased magazine sales. Udo has sent you a monetary reward as a show of appreciation. Okay. Some new posts. Let's see. Earthquakes can't stop Banjo Sushi. <laughs> of course, Dave is actually working in the background. I thought... Okay, we already had that one. Let's see, how is the farm doing? Okay, we've got some weeds to deal with. Uh, but first, let's go... Let's go feed the cats. Hmm. I wonder, if we feed no, the cat no. enough times... Uh, go ahead. You should interrogate the cat. <laughs> now, interrogating cats doesn't work. Bribing cats with food, that does. Do you speak <laughs> from personal experience? Maybe. Okay. I'm not be surprised. Yeah, you, you know those shows with cats in them and such, and circuses? It's, mo it's mostly done by just bribing them with treats along the way. Are you telling me they bribe lions? Yeah, that, not those. <laughs> okay. I really don't see why to upgrade the watering can other than just just not have to run back and forth as much, but it's easy enough as is. Uh, let's see. Let's stock up a bit with these. Mm, let's get three of each. There. And eventually we'll get upgrades here for these other three ones, I'm guessing. Yeah, since it's raining, we don't actually need to water the plants, since, well, that's being done already. Yeah. So, fish farm. Oh, this is a this country. Let's see, pizza lover. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Uh, pizza? Good God, am I just tired as all hell right now? If you need to go sleep, go sleep. Okay. Keep four of each. You... You are just the third wheel, so you can go get sent uh, off as well. I think I just heard you mispronounce his name. What? Do you just call him Pizza God Lover? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I just said pizza. The boat has a lot of mackerel. Send all of those off. And then five of these. Let's see. Sell off the bad one there. Sell off one of those. Barracudas. There. Hmm. Yeah, we, we should probably try and get some of these fish just to get... Uh, to hunt some of these fish just to get some breeding pairs in here. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, would, I would do something like that off-stream if it wasn't for the fact that it would risk uh, advancing something. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's send all of those. I'm kind of unsure if this game is rebuilt for good grinding. No, it's not. Let's see. One of you. All of you. All of you. Two of you. Fanfish. I will keep one of you. Pizza lover? Well, my username on Discord is God of Pizza. Giving Helen a side stare. What? Oh, and yeah, that's literally what I am doing. Just going into sleep while listening to stream. Otherwise, I can't fall asleep. Some weird type insomnia. It does help with certain people to listen to something as they try to fall asleep. Like I, uh, I've had a good long time where I would keep a radio on. Uh, 
and yeah, fall asleep uh, to that. <clears throat> I find it easier to fall asleep to he heavy rain. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell, you must be at Doom School. Uh, I was, is it, it was alone in a library room of some sort. I was the, uh, not true that you say, area they Ooh. keep some books in. And I was draw and listen to music. Every time I start the song again, I forgot which one, and tried to draw, I fell asleep due to how much it rained. It somehow. I, I woke up a almost sh short time after the music ended ago when it happened. <laughs> uh, I try again. And it had to happen several times. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking we deselect this thing. Also, I didn't notice this about this little charm. Uh, extra 15% of gun-based damage added. That would be good for stormy days when we when there's a boss for us to go fight. Um, yeah, let's take this one. Okay. Uh, poison resistance. Is it a stormy day or just a rainy day? A uh, storm outright. Uh, currently, I mean. Uh, now it's just raining, and uh, <laughs> okay. Poseidon's boat skin that portray, per, yeah, portrays Poseidon's trident. Let's put that on. Let's see. But, yeah, Cobra, you have anything to for sale? Let's see. Emergency pager, sensor trap, hmm. and a cargo box. Let's take the cargo box. Uh, we don't need an open space for a flashlight anymore, since we have the charm that lets us get past the two worms. Hmm. See, so how are we on upgrading anything? Let's see. Giant Trevale fin. Let's see. Yeah, this is what we currently have. Hmm. We need some of these to upgrade that. Uh, do we have one of those already? Let's see. Net gun. Let's see. We can make this. Some rope, some fragments. Yeah, that'll be useful. Like, uh, let's not equip that. How much does it... Oh, we could actually upgrade it immediately. Now, the, the, this will be useful for when we want to go f catch a bunch of live fish for the farm or such. And now we get the other one. Okay, for the tranquilizer gun we need more brittle starfish and some more fragments, so we'll, we'll, we should go pick up as many of those as we find. Hmm, let's see, further enhanced tranqu normal fish tranquilizer after 5 seconds. Now, I'm guessing the only way we can really get big, re like the really big fish uh, alive is with sensor uh, net bombs and such. We still haven't found that again. But I'm guessing no, no, we no, might no. in the glacial. There are other ways. Hmm? You wrestle and punch them and then scream at them until they submit. <laughs> okay. Um. But if people don't do that, that was a joke. Please yeah. don't try to rest the fish and scream during the submission. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. I'm curious what we'll find in the frozen passage. For now... Oh, someone here. Okay, past the boards. Is the workshop open? Oh, you're back. Uh, Naimo. Niamo? However you print. My friend has something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. Okay. <laughs> this is just going to be an adjusted version. Yep.
and uh, I, I don't know what to call these things. Uh, I guess you could call them a sort of uh, glue gun. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, my father works a lot with these. So, yeah, I've helped with some of these uh, at times. Uh. There we go. It's got to sand off the extra bits and it'll look as good as new. Wow, it looks completely undamaged. Phew, looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thank you so much, Dave. We won't forget this. Why do we, uh, why do we keep getting these tremors? They seem to be coming from at shorter intervals. Oh, King Long, please protect our village. Anything else? Oop. Even more this way? Or... Oh wait, you were... Oh. Did you kids lose the ball again? Oh. Where could Mara have gone? Something wrong? Oh, human. Actually... Mara disappeared. I'm sure Mara went to the underwater lake. I'm sure. Underwater lake? Yeah, it's a mythical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us to not go, as there is a frightening monster there. The thing is, Mero said, there, said there's a crack that we could fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid I'd get scolded, but I think Mara went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with a door in front of it, so that no one can get in. But there should be a guide sign nearby. I think we've passed by there a lot of times. The sign has this kind of writing on it. Please bring Mao back. Tenzin will be furious when he finds out. Okay, I'll try looking. Hmm. <clears throat> a sign with the language of the sea people. Uh, yeah. Oh, the seed shop has something now. Are they finally open? And how about the workshop? I guess humans aren't as evil as I thought. I'll help you if you need any if you need something. I find that easier than making conversation. Okay, not yet, but hopefully soon then. Or was that just to unlock everything? Uh, yeah. Okay, just double checking. All right. Now then. Let's go see Mima and the sea shop. The, the seed shop. <laughs> Nothing new here. Okay. Other than that. Oh. It's said that the depths of human seas have a stone called the amethyst, which shines in a lovely purple. I'd love to see it. Okay. There. Okay. Just need to get rid of some spider crabs and get a skull. Yeah, skulls are completely random if they drop or not. Skull? Skull is for skull from? No. Oh. Okay, Mimas. Let's see. 10% harpoon, movement speed by 8, reduced damage by 10. Melee damage by 150%, okay. Feather dumpling. Okay, more to style, it seems. Uh, let's see. Oh, a dumpling made of minced uh, feather coral and seaweeds. Oh, that's a, that doubles up. 10% and 8% speed. 10% uh, damage reduction. Lotus. Melee damage by... Okay, Mima's special dumpling. Harpoon gun uh, damage and movement speeds. Okay. And they're even at a technical discount as well. Since it's not it gives double or it gives the working of two for the price of uh, 1.6. Let's Let's get this one.
I should really try to get some uh, professionally made dumplings sometime. I've never eaten dumplings. Don't think so either. I've eaten things that are similar, like babao, I believe they're called. Yeah, I don't think I've more... eaten the. What are you going to call the quote unquote Swedish dumplings? Like, they're, they're called something else, but uh, they are classified as a dumpling due to how similar it is made to them. Okay. Where is the blog? Which book? Oh, human. Good to see you. There's a book that contains the famous words of King Long. I can't find it. I wanted to read it in the evening while resting. Where is it? I remember borrowing it. Borrow? From where? From Nemo's uh, temple, of course. The temple has many books about the history and doctrine of the sea people. Oh, Ewan, can you borrow another book uh, from the temple for me while I look around? It's called, there are mutant sea people in the basement, and as king I can't just stand by, I must do something, volume two. That's a long title. It's a novel that describes King Long's great battles. Anyways, please borrow the book uh, for me from the temple. I borrowed volume one before, so Nemo uh, should know. Okay. Why do we get the feeling that uh, people have just been borrowing this thing back and forth constantly? Right. Probably because there's uh, maybe not too much reading material, unless people have been actually making new books. Now, let's go to the temple. I'm guessing that Suwam is waiting for us outside, so we can have his uh, scaly ass wait a while longer. Oh, no, I he's actually like here. I think might be a reference to some series that also have long titles. Maybe. Like, there's an anime I like, which does have a long title called Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny, but the title, bloody heck. Oh, human, what brings you here? The owner of the seed shop told me to borrow a book. The title, it was very long. I forgot it. <laughs> I understand. Cousin always reads strange books. And Nyamo, I was told that you would know which one, as it was previously borrowed. Do you remember? Hmm. It's a book that Kazin uh, borrowed. It might be one of these things. Let's see, there are pictures of the divine uh, tree and its fruit on the cover. He likes plants, so maybe it's this one. The, there are pictures of zombie like sea people and the king fighting on the cover. It looks like fun. Oh, oh that's, number, that's the last one. Uh, why does it go so. F Let's see. There are pictures of beautiful, sensuous-looking sea women on the cover. Is this...? <laughs> okay. I do think that's the one. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it might be the last, last one for you. It was really descriptive. Yeah. This is basically Playfish. Maybe it's this book? How about you take it with you? Yes, that will work best. Thank you. Yeah, please come by anytime. May King Long's protection be with you. Okay, I'm a bit curious how we would react to some of those, but uh, it, we would have to swim all the way back to get the other one, probably. Yeah, I just thought so for me. The, an the anime is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? It's a yeah. good anime, but the title is misleading, for there's no one doing any pickup lines or anything, like, or any flirting, really. That's probably half the joke with it. Probably. Um, his book. <laughs> this is the one. Great job on finding it. Awesome. I'll read it in the evening while drinking some seaweed wine. Mm. It's not really a gift, but please take this. Is it a seed? What is it? It's a very flavorful seaweed seed that grows in our that's grown in our village. Oh. It might be a bit difficult to grow one on uh, to grow on the farm. Mm. Human facilities. Uh, try growing to uh, uh, try try going to the village with uh, village's farmer Gumo. If you're lucky, Gumo might be able to help you grow the seaweeds. Okay, so we get a farm down here as well. And I should not forget to go to the arcade this time. 
Now let's see, where is Gumo? There's Gumo. Yeah, he, he complained about us early on, about getting in the way of his farming. I think... Oh well. <clears throat> now then, we go to him, and then we go to the arcades to put up... Yeah. To put the other sea horses up for races, and we'll probably do one or two before we move on. A what arcade? The one over there, the casino. What casino arcade? Okay. Mm -hmm. You're asking me if I can harvest seaweed? Well, it can be harvested at the seaweed farm behind me, but I don't want to do it for a human. What an unkind sea person. Should I just leave? No. Seaweed directly from here would be better for cooking. I'll have to try my best to convince him. This is a seed that Kazin gave me. Can you please help me? Kazin gave it to a human? That's strange. I'm not sure what a human will be able to make with the seaweed. But I'll think about it if you can make something that's extraordinary. Bring me a dish made of seaweed. Okay. Looks like we'll have to ask Boncho. Okay. That should be easy. Right. Yeah, ain't all sushi made with seaweed? Yeah. Almost all. Okay. Let's register some racers. Okay, let's manage. Here's register. Okay. Okay, it seems there are different ranks among them. I'm guessing that depends. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing that affects how good of a racer they are. Like for example, actually these are about the same. One is just in a. Actually no, the stats are different between ones. I'm I'm guessing the lower bar shows the active uh, stats. So if they are in a good mood, uh, their stats are higher. Like this one, where it's shown in green, and when they are in a bad mood. They are shown in red, like this. Okay, we've got some good racers then. Let's see. So we do one of these first. Okay. This is a... <clears throat> this is a obstacle course one. Let's do just a... a let's just do a sprint. Alright, okay. can we spoon in the stream? Yeah. Mm. Actually, let, oh, let's 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 skip fire? that for now. Then uh -oh. I'll comp I can go play with that some other time. For now, let's go yep. see about uh, the glacier passage, the glacial passage. They kind of swap between glacier and glacial. Wouldn't it be easier to do the arcade before the uh, end in the stream than continue the story? Uh, you can save whenever. Yep. Okay. Lead on Swan. Impressive. You didn't run away, human. No, we can't. Really, we can't really run on the water. We can swim. I Swan will guide you personally. Stay close to me. Not out of pre not out of preference, more out of necessity. Uh, okay. I had a feeling it would be here. Oh, this is the door to the glacier passage. It's is like right next to where I was. Let me see. Where is the key we found yesterday? Good. Now I've insert this here and uh, let me just do that myself. Or was that supposed to be Dave talking? <laughs> Good to know that the key is not a fake. Oh, there is one thing you should know. You can go straight down uh, using the middle path in the glacier passage. But it must uh, have been blocked. To, but it must have been blocked to stop the Gadons from escaping. There should be a contraption that opens the door somewhere around there. So come through the area, human. I am needed elsewhere. See you then. Just don't die. Uh. All right, let's go in. Thresher shark. Okay, oh. long and it's bunny. Oh, it uses its tail as a whip. Okay. Yeah, I think we call this something else in Sweden. Oh. Rev, hi. Fox shark. 
Okay. Hey, there's a thing. The way is blocked just as Swam warned me. Mm -hmm. I should search the area for another route down. Mm. By the way, what is that huge mural back there? Okay. It must say something about the sea people. Yeah. I should take a picture of it and show it to Dr. Bacon. Okay, I can already see a few new fish. Let's zoom out a little bit. Try and get all of the text. There we go. How? How is that a fail? Okay, just zoom all the way out. There. Camera for... Oops. What? Okay, that was just dumb. Okay. Time to fish. Okay, and you are a peacock squid. Okay. Not enough. Barrel eye. Oh, it's one of those freaky ones, ain't it? It's... There we go. Oh, seems like we also got a task to catch fish in this area now. Okay. Miss. Okay, I'm guessing we can make some, we will be able to make new recipes with these, and I'm hoping that those will be of very high, uh, very high taste. Yeah, I don't think I heard too many people eating deep seafood, well, besides crabs. Okay, uh, let's see. weren't there supposed to be three passages? With the middle one blocked. Or, oh. We just go to the sides. Yep. Okay. So we, we actually we're we actually unlocked three new areas, sort of. That's a big ass door. Wait, is this going to be a puzzle? Wow, these contraptions are overwhelming. Video games players touch this and that uh, yeah, to find out how to upgrade them. Shall I try? <laughs> okay, let's go muck about with engine me yeah, mechanisms. Let's see, why is there ammo mm. here? Uh, that that's, doesn't count as a fourth wall break error, was it? No, I don't think so. More like a... Um... No, not media awareness or anything like that. Let's see. That is, okay, then we press this one. They just alternate. Yeah. <clears throat> they just alternate the ones that match with the colors. Now there. And it's, now we get up to that and we can pass along. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not three new areas more. This is, this is probably just going to be isolated for opening the door. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a Gadon down there. Okay. Uh -oh. Me. Yep. Now, oh, this place is invested with Gadons as well. I should hide behind the stone statue to slip past them. And what have we here? Goldfish statue. An intricate and beautiful gold fi uh, golden fish statue. Sell it at the Cobra shop. Okay, that should be worth a bit. Hmm. Yeah, we might go a little bit over time. I can't be saving ever. Yeah, oop. Uh, we sh should be, but I don't want to save in the middle of a st stealth bit like this. Okay, this is as close as we've gotten to these things. Another mural. Oops. 
There's a huge mural here as well. I should take a picture of it too. Yeah, if not Dr. Bacon, then at least the sea people themselves should be able to uh, tell us something about this. Zoom all the way out. There we go. Okay. Hmm. There are strange contraptions here, too. I bet I can figure it out if I fiddle around a bit. Okay, but you don't. <laughs> you can't really play a, fli a fiddle on the water, Dave. Yeah, we need to move these so that they form a passageway. I, I'm guessing... Yep. Okay. Hmm. Lever. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, when I hit the divine tree fruit, a strong light comes out of it. The Gadons hate lights. Maybe I can use this fruit? I should get far away before they recover. Okay, so they, those, it's not that they, it's not that they get blinded, it, it, it acts as a flashbang. Okay. Um, I can move to the next one. Let's see, one more turn, and I should be able to get through this. Yes. There we go. Okay, I see. These two don't have active uh, buttons to move them. Okay. So another statue. Okay, only one kilo. Well, Um, this seems to be the right passage, but the door is frozen. The ice is not that thick. Maybe I can use a divine tree fruit to melt it? Maybe. Okay, just pick you up. And there we go, okay. Well, if the door remains open on this side, I could go straight down. There must be something that opens the door around here. It's, hmm, what if I pull that uh, pulley there thing? It's going to open up something to shine light on that mirror, which is going to start melting. <clears throat> start melting the ice or something. Oop. Okay, now that actually opened it up. Yeah. I thought we'd need to go to the other side to do something else there. Good. Now I can go down directly from the entrance. Let me continue down to the next level. Okay, but first we have another mural. And, well, the place is frozen up. Yeah? You were saying something? Say, uh, we can, uh, move to that and, uh, call it. Maybe. It's, hmm. It's frozen solid and won't open. I need to find something that can be used to melt it. We have a giant mirror. Yeah. Melt the ice. Okay. A mural in the glacier passes three. Zoom all the way out again. And there we go. Yep. Oop. Okay, I don't like the fact that that cloud of ink was purple. So I'm guessing you leave behind a toxic cloud of some sorts. Okay. All the more reason to grab you. Wait, is that a vampire squid? Could be. We'll see in a sec once it's in the bag. Yep, vampire squid. 
Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Let's leave it at that then for today, since we just hit the two hours. A bit short, maybe, with on exploring this area, but that means that tomorrow, if there's no LA Noir, we can well have most of the stream be exploring there. So for now, yeah. let's head back to the mirror. Uh, uh, yeah, a really cool commentator. But I don't feel like I'm about to fall asleep. Something new on the board. Might as well grab uh, that. It's new why, opal ore. Why do I keep making up every twirl now? There we go. I'm guessing we'll have more to spend all of that money on once the seed shop and workshop are open. And we'll probably get to spend some on upgrades for the seaweed farm as well. All right. Hmm. Okay, just load for a second. Another new depth level. And two easy golds. Okay, we got some row from both of those. Oh, all three of those. Okay, you start at 110 with that. With your basic sushi. Okay. Oh, hello, Otto. Hey, Dave. The, cro the crops planted a couple of days ago are ready to be harvested. Seriously? They grow so fast. <laughs> all kinds of unexpected things happen at the Blue Hole. We need to prepare the ingredients for vegetable sushi before the customers come. Hurry to the farm. Yep. No choice in this. Okay. The weather here is incredible. The crops are growing so well. Go harvest them for yourself. Okay. Three carrots. Two. Oh, so the way he holds them over his head makes me think a bit of uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. Wow, the eggplants and carrots look really nice. Visit often and show your love, and the plants will repay in kind. Now take them all and go help make vegetable sushi. I have other vegetable seeds as well. I will sell them at a reasonable price if you want them. And don't forget to make uh, good ingredients are what... And don't forget that good ingredients are what make a good dish. Thanks. Now all I need is to make... Now all I need to make vegetable sushi is some white rice. Mm. By the way, who ordered vegetable sushi? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's put some wheat seeds down. And some garlic seeds. Totally enough for me just to make a massively strong batch. Okay, some weeds to get rid of. And I'm guessing we'll get to know more about the nutrient stuff later when they start to go low. For now, let's head to the sushi place where we can ask Bancho to make some, well, seaweeds yeah, sushi. Okay. But we'll do that next time. So for now, down here, save. Let's see. Yeah, over on this one. Okay. I could make a, I could make a separate save where I just play the game on my own. Uh, but then I, if I want to continue on from here, I would be spoiling myself. And if I were to restart from this beginning, uh, I'd have to restart everything. Though that might not be that bad of a thing. I could try to optimize things a bit more with uh, the shop, with the, with the restaurant. And maybe try and pick up some tips or yeah, two on people to hire. So maybe I'll do that. Hmm. I'll have to see. For now... It's kind of risky, I say. <laughs> okay. Exit. And we head on over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, Showcase Sunday, and either L.A. Noir or more Dave the Diver. And then Monday, maybe I'll stream, maybe not. Uh, the next day after, actually, maybe in the afternoon. Because uh, Tuesday you know, early will be when we have to go for, uh, we, uh, when we have to leave for uh, our vacation to London. <clears throat> And yeah, we'll have to be there about 4 a.m. or something. Went to, with the flight leaving at 3 p.m. 
So I'll definitely have to charge a few power banks. <laughs> <clears throat> Holy. Yeah. So for now, at least, let's go look for someone to raid. So change windows, switch, go live, and let's see. We have Reef to Leaf, who is streaming Breath of Fire 3. We have Mystic Meep, who is streaming uh, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Okay. I think I've seen someone play through most of the game. I don't know if I actually finished watching it. Actually, I think I did. Nico is streaming Baldur's Gate 3. Corridor is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. But Scaly Tail is streaming Pseudo Regalia. Smoops on the Nonsense is playing Product Zomboid again. And Halloween is streaming Metroid Other M. And if those sound of interest, or look for anyone new. Hmm. Mystic Meep, perhaps? Let's take a peek then at Meep. Okay, they're starting, they're on their pre stream yet. We're still. Okay, so it might be better to uh, read them. Let's see. And who is this Cobalt Tune with Medieval 2? Okay. <laughs> yeah, the oldie game. The first Medi Medieval got a remaster some time ago. Okay. Uh, rate them or anyone else? Someone else? We can rate them. Okay. Cobalt soon it is then. So copy that to our place. And slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Glacier Boy. And yeah, as always, thank you, Drakir. You build us always, my friend. Now where's that pillow? <laughs> and yeah. Uh, we'll see if Ram is up for more L.A. Noir. Otherwise, tomorrow evening we'll, we will have more Dave the Diver. And yeah, like I said, uh, showcase Sunday in the afternoon. So for now, thank you all again for watching. No, uh, first, let me start that raid. Yep. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, hey, everyone. And uh, watch out for mutant sea folk. <laughs> And some busy goals. <laughs>